This Bubba Exotic Motorsports production is brought to you in part by Blog Talk Radio, host of our number one rated internationally syndicated automotive podcast as heard on the Bubba's Motorsports Network. And by Schumacher Chevrolet, SchumacherAuto.com, S-C-H-U-M-A-C-H-E-R.com, SchumacherAuto.com. And no turning radius. Drive that bed, it runs good, dude. Hey, well, we are live. So. What? Again, here we go. Man. We're trying to get our phones off and everything, and here we come in live. Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live from inside the main facility here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Good morning, Bub. How you doing today? Hey, I'm doing really good so far, man. It's already been a really long morning. Getting yeah, a lot man. of stuff done. A lot going I swear on. to God, dude, I'm telling you, we've officially, as of this morning, we have made it 110% by appointment only here. I'm telling you, we have. It's, you can't. People just, I yeah, mean. Yeah, they cycle when, through. They want to talk to you and spend time you can, with you. You can't stop We're for every blessed. person. That's it's that's it's a, ridiculous. That's, I mean, a, that's a nice thing to have. It's a good problem to have. Hey, Bub, I've got a couple announcements. You know I don't like to script anything, but I do want to throw a couple of uh, shout outs out there. Yep. We had a couple people yesterday afternoon that we didn't have a chance to say hi to. You do have a technical question that's going to come to you. Uh, during this show. So we wanted to talk to those people and, and acknowledge some uh, people. So I am going to refer, Bub, to my notes, which you never see anyways, Bub. <laughs> I'm not scripted, but I knew if I did, with everything that's been going on today, I figured we'd better do it. So let's start off by saying hello to uh, Robert Bur uh, Murphy up there in Beth Page, New York. He's originally from Brooklyn, Bub. Um, and yesterday's yep. show, we had people coming in from the Midwest, the Northeast, and out in California, man. I saw it. It was everywhere. So what's up, Robert? Yeah. So Bob, thanks very much for joining us here and being part of the Bubba's Motorsports family. Yeah, but how come I go with really Robert and you go with Bob? You already shorten it. I know, but it's just one of those things I can do, man. Maybe so, he prefers Robert. Yep. And or hey, maybe he prefers Bob. He could. One he or could. the other. But either way, good morning. Bub, we've got a very special invitation that was extended to us by the great folks, Max and Lana, over at Cars and Coffee of uh, Palm Beach. And nice. this has been very, very exciting. We've wanted to attend that event. In yep. fact, they're going to be here today with us okay, to spend cool. some time. And I can't tell you, I've got goosebumps. I really wanted to hook up with these guys. Uh, Max is uh, not only the, uh, there's a, he, he, he has two roles over there. You can hear the guys running the bikes outside. Hey, man. Always it exciting. Like, it is motorsports Sounds here. like a freaking track right there here. There you I go, swear. man. Max is the CFO of, uh, uh, of Cars and Coffee, and he's also the CEO of Monkey in Paradise Vodka. By the way, that's some good stuff. I know, man, and it was all over Supercar Week. Yep. And Lana, his fiance, is, is also part of uh, the Cars and Coffee event. Wow, okay. We'll be there on the 19th, which is Sunday, they're taking our Porsches and putting them up in the exotic section, and we're going to be close to Adam's Polishes. All right. And as you know, we've been talking to those guys as well. Yep. So our weekend's going to be Friday. You're going up to Daytona for the Sons of Speed event where you're filming up there with Billy Lane and all those guys. Yep. We're going up Saturday morning, and we're going to come back Saturday night with you so that we can be to the Cars and Coffee event on Sunday, which we're blown away about, man. So a busy weekend. I mean, straight all the way through. I mean, from Friday morning all the way through Sunday night, for those of you out there who think we don't work over the weekend, we are working the entire weekend. And we Not only that, we're doing like a seven hour drive just to make the weekend work. That's exactly right. A lot. So we thank the guys over there uh, at Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach. It's been a long time coming. I want everybody to come visit us 19th, which is Sunday, yep. Sunday, from this, Sunday. Nine to noon, this Sunday, nine to noon, okay. right? Okay at the uh, Palm Beach Outlets, and it's a yep. huge show, and it's something we've really wanted to do, and I, we feel blessed that you guys asked us uh, to, to join you. Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach, go out there and check them out on Facebook. Really good people. Well, who else do we have to talk That's to? That's it, and we'll get to the technical question in a few minutes. I'm sorry. But I what about Layla notes. and Robin? We haven't gotten to them yet. Well, we always thank the ladies. Without them, none of this would be possible. Layla Von Athey from Miss Outlaw Boutique. That's yep. Miss Ms. Outlaw Boutique.com, who will be the flag girl at the Sons of Speed event in Daytona. Yep. Uh, and that's why you're going up Friday to get that, uh, you know, get the filming and all that That is that it. Started. She's got to get ready to go. Get ready to go. We'll get up there and get it done. Right on. My beautiful bride, Robin. Thanks so much, man. None of it would be possible without these ladies, man. I can't tell you enough how much they mean to us. Bub, tell us a little bit about this Nomad here. This car was actually built up in North Carolina. And uh, it's a nicely built car. It was a good yeah. platform. The owner sunk well into the six figures into this car. Um, 
This is something that he brought to you because he wanted to take a look at a couple of the things that were going on to us. So we wanted to share the car with you, everybody. It's a beautiful car. It's nice craftsmanship. It's good work. Take us to it, Bob. So absolutely. You know, this is, as he just mentioned, this is a car that was just finished. It was a couple year build. Um, as a lot of these older cars are, this is a car that is worth every penny that is invested into this ride. It is not only well designed, it's beautifully built. The quality, the craftsmanship, everything that went on with this thing is, I mean, it's, it's hands down bar none. I mean, this is something that could get off to SEMA and this could go home with trophies without a doubt. I mean, everything about the LS powered platform to the independent suspension on this car, the ride quality of it, the Willwood brakes, everything about this car does exactly what it should do and that's exactly what we love doing here in the industry. The guys who built this thing in Carolina are, I mean, absolutely, I mean, props to them, mad props. I mean, it's, it's clean, it's not over the top, it's not like gaudy in your face, disgusting, little here too much, little too much here, there. It's not like that. This is a very clean build. Everything about the car works and we're just literally down to a full once over. I think there's 390 miles on the car right. since it was built. Um, it just did a nice tour, so we just got the car in to do a full once over, make sure everything's seated in properly, going over, checking everything, making sure the fluids are set, levels are set, lighting's good, AC's good. All, I mean, everything about the car is spot on. But why don't we take a quick look at the inside, share it with everybody. The inside, oh, they did a beautiful job with as well. Yeah, the, I mean, like I said, you know, this car is just, it's very clean down the body side. You can see all the lines are very smooth. Nothing about the car has extreme body modifications. It's just really, really clean and very well built. It still looks very much like a Tri-5 should between the dash design, you know, the modern style of center console, the seats, everything about it is just very beautiful. Wonderfully built car, isn't it, Bob? Very wonderfully built. I mean, all the way down to like the LED footwell lighting. And if you notice, it's not only at your feet where it would naturally be, but also in the center console. This is very, very modern. So these guys, they knew what they were doing. They took the time, they studied it. They knew where they were trying to go and they hit it dead onto the T. I mean, my head, I'm kind of hitting the roof, but it happens. So in all, a very beautiful build, isn't it, Bob? Very beautiful. Wonderfully done. Wonderfully, wonderfully done. And these are the kind of cars that we'll be seeing at Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach this weekend. That's it. Ninth, uh, the 19th uh, from 9 to 12 at the Palm Beach Outlets. Um, they have everything there. I mean, they have everything from the classics like this to the resto mods to the high-end exotics, which is very, very exciting, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, when you go out and you actually get to attend, for the people who aren't around here, we're actually going to be, it's literally off I-95, so anybody on the East Coast knows I-95. Off of I-95, exit 71 here in South Florida, it's Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. Yep. It's at the Palm Beach outlets where you can not only do your shopping, you can get your drinks, you can get food, you can sit down and eat, you can do whatever the heck it is you want to do and literally walk between 1,500 and 2,000 plus cars it's of just gorgeous, everything man. you could possibly imagine. Gorgeous. And you don't have to live in the Palm Beaches, our producer signaling, signaling us, signaling us, you don't have to live in the Palm Beaches to attend. Come from Florida, come from Georgia, just come. All of our fans That's a long drive from Georgia though. Mr. Producer. Jennifer Robertson says her family had a 55 Nomad growing up and it was a great grocery gift to get her. Jennifer? Mm. A 55 Nomad. Well, this is a heck of a grocery getter, Bob. Did you describe to everybody what platform you got in here? Yeah, so this is, as I, you know, as I mentioned in the starting of this, if you guys weren't watching, this is built off of a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS, which gets you in an automatic form. This is what you would consider an L99 engine, which is the 6.2 liter V8. If you had a manual transmission, a six speed, it would be considered an LS3. So the difference between an LS and an L99 is the transmission linked to it. Right, because the automatics had what they called VVTI, the variable valve timing. Okay. So that was more for fuel economy and with the automatic transmission, okay. it was a very economical driver. That's what this package is. Good technical so knowledge. So it gives you a lot of, and that's a lot of guys don't understand that. It's still a 6.2 liter, still doing the exact same job. All of the part fitment is still the same. But when you have a manual transmission, if you want to go high horsepower, if you want to do a lot of conversions, you want to do the LS3 head package to them. It's a completely different setup that gets rid of the VVTI, so it's a lot more high-end performance. This one is coupled to a 4L65E, which is the automatic transmission it came with from the 2010 Camaro, all the way back to the independent rear suspension. So this car literally rides like a brand new fifth generation Camaro. Everything about it from the steering to the braking to the shift points to the power. And this one has, you know, it's got upgrades to it with the long tube headers, the cold air intakes, I mean, all the nice tuning to it. So it is a step above a factory platform for sure. Um, it sounds great, runs beautiful. It's exactly what you would want in a Tri-5 
anything, Bel Air, Nomad, 210s, any of them, all under one hood. You can take this car out, you can cruise it, you can enjoy it, and you'll never break down. You really won't. You'll just go and ride. And you know what, Bob? I really appreciate this car. I have to tell you, and I'll tell you why I appreciate this car. I appreciate, I work for you. You're one of the top three in the industry today, okay? That's how your peers see you. I love the quality of what I see in this vehicle. Yeah. You are meticulous. You take hours to bend a brake line so it's very symmetrical and your eye flows like a waterfall. I see a lot of that in here. Yeah. I like what I see and it, it really brings out the craftsmanship uh, and, and, and the original builder did a wonderful, wonderful yep. job. And it's, it's a pleasure to share the vehicle yep. with people. You mentioned, Bub, the 210, the Bel Air, and the 150. For those of you that may not know what Bub's referring to, those were different level trim packages in the Tri-5 uh, series. The Tri-5 being 55, 56, and 57 are those identified years. The 150 had very little uh, ornate uh, decoration on the outside. Yep while the uh, 210 had more and the Bel Air was loaded with uh, or ornate decorant. I can hear This that. is my question. Yes, sir. How do you know if it had a 327? Okay, let me see if I can answer that question. If it had a 327, it had an automatic transmission? No, it had gold emblems. It had gold emblems, That's ladies it. and gentlemen. That's I, know, I know that they made uh, the 210 and the 150, they used the blue flame Line six. Which, by the way, was a freaking bulletproof engine. And let oh, me tell man. you, you can get that thing to idle at like 350, 400. And so smooth so and smooth. quiet. And you oh, put yeah. a glass of soda on yep. it, you won't even yep. see it. Wouldn't it even know there. it was running. Yeah. So Literally, because it probably shut off on you at the light. Probably would. Yeah. yeah exactly. that you wouldn't know that, though, would you? No, no, It's no, no, so no. quiet, man. So who would care if it shut off? Because, well, you know what, man? It didn't matter, right, in the first place. So beautiful job, Bub. You've gotten the AC repaired on this thing. You got it up and on its feet. It looks really good. Our props to the original builder out there. Oh, big time, yeah. Really, really nice work, man. Yep. And I can appreciate it because, I, like I said, I work for you. You're the best in the industry. And, you know, I see that quality going into this. Yeah. Well, we've got another exciting thing to share with everybody today. Everybody knows that we are aligned with uh, Turbinetics because we're doing the second uh, Turbinetics concept Camaro. It's not the second Turbinetics car. I have to be careful about that because you've also got the Turbinetics Mustang. Yep. Uh, that's uh, going to be the one that lays down. Uh, 600 horsepower on the stock block, right? Yep. Using the Turbinetics platform. Yep. Uh, it is the EcoBoost four cylinder. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't think it was possible, hold on. Bub's got it. Let here. me tell you, it's pretty freaking stout. I'm it's telling you, stout. it's uh, it's pretty solid. And that you can actually see if you go out to our website at bubbasexcitingmotorsports.com. Right. If you scroll to the bottom and click on the Instagram link, you can pull it up. It'll take you directly into our Instagram. Follow us on there. You'll see the day-to-day -day live stuff that's going on in the shop, behind the scenes of the filming, all those projects we've got going cool. on. And you'll see that car out there. You'll see all the modifications that have been done. And all of our stuff is very, very detailed on our Instagram, all of our social media. Sure. So you can see the upgrades that are there. So maybe if you have that same body style car and you like, you know, you like the stance, you like the wheel and tire combo, whatever, you can actually see exactly what that is. We list it all out. We don't hide it. You can, man. I mean, it's all out there. And by the way, if you have a technical question, sales at bubbasexoticmotorsports.com or simply hit us up on Facebook while we're going live. Bub, we all know that the lubricant sponsor for the Bubba Edition Terminetics uh, Schumacher Chevrolet Supercar Week, Camaro, I Holy know it's a crap. lot, those are your sponsors. I'm watching man. how quickly got them in. Not scripted either. Your lubricant sponsor is? HPL. HPL. Robertson Racing yep. is bringing in HPL. That's and you right. were really, really hesitant about making that move until you started doing some of the technical research on yep. it. We are proud to announce, ladies and gentlemen, that Bub has received his first shipment from Bud and Jennifer Robertson out at Robertson Racing uh, in Pennsylvania. The actual HPL formula uh, oil that will be used in the Bub Edition Turbinetics Concept Camaro that will be released. It will be released at, everybody ready for this? There'll be a soft release at Schumacher Chevrolet. There'll be a soft week at car, uh, soft release at Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach. And this hard release will be done at Supercar Week where everybody will be standing. Yep. So here we've got, Bub, we have received the first lubricant. We uh, did. We got in our 5W20, which is exactly what we're going to be putting into the Turbonetics Mustang. See how that thing performs. Now we just got to couple that up with the Turbonetics Turbo that we're getting ready to have sent in. It's going to be insane, it's be dude. pretty crazy. I mean, to lay, literally to lay down. 550, 600 horsepower. Out of a four-cylinder. Four-cylinder stock block. It's going to be pretty respectable. Pretty stout. Pretty I mean, stout. for sure, yeah. The power-to-weight ratio is going to be, it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah. Man. I'm excited, man. So hopefully this oil will hold up for us. Yeah, they say it is. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new 
uh, line of oil. We're going to go with the HPL for these uh, Turbinetics cars, and, and uh, we appreciate Robertson Racing and their support over the years and always being by our side. Yep. Thanks again. Absolutely. And Robertson Racing is Lubricant's gun. Bubba style. Bubba style. So, Bob, I'm going to jump right in here. I threw my notes off the side here. I mean, you threw them, though. Yeah, they're, they're off camera. A little bit aggravated. So, Bob, you had a question come in yesterday from Bill Jones out in McHenry, Illinois. Bill, how you doing, buddy? And please excuse me for referring to my notes, but I want to make sure I get it right. A lot of stuff I can do off the top of my head. So can Bob. I want to make sure I ask oh, the yeah. question right. Bill has a 2012 Cooper. Okay. okay? And he, the car feels, he's feeling like the car is feeling every bump. Mm -hmm. I asked him a couple questions. You don't get the questions before we go live, just like you don't know the podcast before we go live. I asked him if it was on the stock suspension. The okay. answer was yes. Okay. There are 50,000 miles on the car. And I looked very carefully at the picture he sent me of the tires, and he's using the Uniroyal Tiger Paw tires. Okay. So he's feeling like the car's feeling a lot of rigidity on the road. Yep. Based on those variables. What can we, what can we offer as advice? What would your suggestion um, be? I mean, in a situation like that, um, you know, it's, it's one of those, really it's one of those things where um, without having the car in hand, it could be multiple things. It so if, if, if this is something that has recently started, you could have a bushing going bad, you could have a joint going bad, either be control arms, or you can have tie rods going bad if you're feeling shimming or clunking, or you know, depending on what your situation may be. If you're down to something small and everything checks out to be perfectly solid everywhere, you could be a matter of 50,000 miles is kind of, kind of on the soft side for having an issue with your shocks or struts. Um, you can usually get more out of them than that. Most companies can get them up to 75, 100,000 miles. Um, but it depends on the driving again. That could be if you're hitting potholes every freaking day, you could be wearing them out twice as fast. So, you know, you could be looking at something in the line of a shock or a strut that's going bad. Or if you mentioned this is on what, Uniroyal tires? Uh, Uniroyal uh, tire fault, yeah. Okay, so it, you could be down to that, that brand of tire just from personal experience is it's not the most comfortable, soft riding, smooth, quiet tire that's available to the market. There are a lot of other options out there. We for example, what would be an option for, for, uh, for Bill? If you, if you wanted to kind of look at other options in terms of wheels and tire, or tires, what would you suggest? Yeah, I mean, something like that, that's probably on a 15, 16, 17 inch rim, depending on the model of that car, on that Cooper. Um, anything in you know the Nitto line, the Falcon line, the Michelin, Pirelli line, any of those tires are all a very high-end brand. Every one of them is going to give you something different, a little bit of benefit, and you know whether it's all season, whether it's a summer tire, whether it's a sport tire, you know, high-speed tire. Every one of them has something different. But again, this is one of those biggest things where you can go out, go to these companies' websites. For example, NittoTire.com. If you went to NittoTire.com, you can go under. I think it's their passenger. They have it labeled as passenger tire. You can click on it, and you can literally pull the entire tab down and it'll tell you everything about their passenger car tires, whether it's the Motivo, the 421s. Right. You can literally look on every one and it'll tell you, you know, what it's rated for. Is it meant for dry pavement? Is it meant for wet pavement? All season, is it, you know, anything about it. And then it'll tell you, once you click on that tire, it'll give you one out of five scale. One out of five scale, meaning whether it's maybe loud or it's rough or it's, you know, dry performance, wet performance. It gives you an entire rundown of these tires. So you're saying that Bill should be looking in two areas. The suspension, number one. Yep. Making sure that those struts are good, the shocks are good. Making Definitely. sure those are good, correct? Definitely. And I would assume, I'm just assuming that in Illinois, they do see a lot of road uh, salt and, and uh, snow and things like that. So yep. the roads, roads are a little less perfect than yep. what we experience here. Yep. Um, so you'd be looking in the suspension area, and you'd look at a, a softer riding tire is what you're thinking. Yeah, and right. definitely, I mean, the biggest thing, too, is just before you even go into any of that, I mean, because those are all expense things, something that's absolutely zero expense to you is check your tire pressures. If they are low, if they are too high, you will get that harsh ride feeling, and you just want to make sure that those are right. It costs nothing to do it. It's right inside your door. There's a tire placard that tells you exactly what your front tire should be, your rear tire should be for that load. And just make sure that you're in that range so that you know that's eliminated. It's got to be something else. You can take that next step if needed. Okay, Bob, that's a very good advice. I think advice. Matt has a question. Matt has Matt, an answer. Our producer has a question. Robertson Racing suggested checking for transmission oil. That will cause shutters. Yes, yes. But, but that now that's true. Uh, the guys over at Robertson are saying uh, if you're feeling a shuttering, uh, check your transfoot. However, yep. 
you're not dealing with a shuddering feeling. You're dealing with the drivability issue on the this road one. Noise, yes. Yes, that's exactly yep. right. So yep. good, good suggestion over there to the, from the guys at Robertson. We can see the money man has, has been very arrogant about filming today. He didn't want to be part. He's sitting over there being a bully, just like he is. That's he's how he a, does he's it. He's got a thick head, right, Bob? So, Bill, let us know how that helps you. We are running a wheel and tire combination uh, sale. If we need to, we'll drop ship tires directly out to you if you determine that's the case. Yep. And we'll save you some money on that as well. But check first. Do like Bub does. Do your research. Make sure you're 100% certain before you pull the trigger on anything and order even a screw because you don't do that. Yeah. Correct, yeah. Bub? If you continue buying $50 tires, that's what you're going to get. Exactly. It's just that simple. Right. But if you exactly. take the time, do your research. Look at some of the brands out there. Don't look at stuff that's you know the most entry level. If you have a car that you're just beating around town, entry level, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're going five miles a day, you don't care about the ride quality. You just want good rubber so you can get around. That happens a lot of times. We have guys that come through here that want that just yeah. because they're only going on sure. five and 10 mile commutes. Nothing wrong with doing it. But if you're looking for something where you've got comfort, you have quality, you have no road noise, it handles properly, Take the time, do your research, look at some of the higher end companies out there. For your, you know, for us, it's Nitto, Pirelli, Falcon. Um, you know, we look at all the higher end tires out there, and we really see what's available. I try to lean a little bit away from Michelin, only because I, personally, I think they're a little too high priced um, for what you get out of them. I do, I, I personally do, and they come on a lot of high end cars. I know you do a lot with Pirelli P zeros, yep. but yep. you've got them on all our Euros yep. and most of our exotics. Yep. Um, and you do a lot of those on uh, the cars you build. Yeah, I've I've found that. Um, Pirelli's a very high end tire, but they also have a very affordable line, um, and they nice offer uh, they offer a little bit of everything. Nothing in the off road range, so that's where we always lean towards Nitto, Toyo, somewhere sure. like that. Um, but for this kind of vehicle, for a Mini Cooper, you can look at anything in the Nitto Pirelli line, and you'll find something that'll fit perfect. So, Bill, thank you. Your for, your question was important, and it was well received. And if you have questions, Bill, please reach out and call me. I'm always available. I'm the one who answers every email, every uh, Facebook uh, message. I monitor everything uh, on Bub's social media, so I do personally respond to everybody, as you saw us going back and forth yesterday, just like I do with anybody who writes in. And our number is 561-748-2926. Use that number, call. I'll take the time to answer technical questions. If I don't have the knowledge in my head, I will ask Bub and get back to you with that. Yep. So, Bob, we appreciate his question right there. Yep. Bob, we're going to get back, right, ju uh, jump into work here. Uh, we thank the guys over at Robertson Racing with HPL bringing a whole new game up with us. Good job on this Nova or this Nomad, Bob. Uh, this, I know the client's going to be excited to get it it's back to go down the road, yep. right? Yeah, and we're, and we're in a cold snap today. It's going to be 70 degrees, but he's still going to enjoy that fixed air conditioning, right? By the way, it's way too cold. I was driving and I turned the AC off. Exactly. Too cold. I can't wait, man. Good job, man. Thanks to the guys over at Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach. We cannot wait to meet you, Max and Lana, this afternoon. Everybody, come out on the 19th to the Palm Beach outlets. We don't care if you come from Hawaii. Just come. I know my <laughs> fan base will be out there above. Your fan base will be out there. Yep. It's going to be a really good time. We're actually going to take the Turbinetics Porsches out there. Um, a lot, lot of love for Reggie and the guys up at Turbinetics as well. Uh, they'll be on display in the exotic section. We're going to hook up with the guys from Adams Polishes, and we're just going to hang out and have a great time, man. That's the point of it. Have a good time. Exactly, man. So we appreciate those guys. Look them up on Facebook, Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach. Good people out there. Great environment, and we're proud to be part of it, man. Yep. So i got to get back to work. I am, too. So, Bob, until tomorrow. Just keep on doing it Bubba style. And let's make sure we step out to touch everybody's life in a positive way today. Feed somebody. Choose somebody. Open the door for somebody. It doesn't matter what it is. Just makes your heart feel good. Till tomorrow, keep on doing it. Of a style. Hey, William Jones says it's 10 degrees outside. William Jones, hold on. Before we cut this off, William, where are you riding us from? You've told our producer that it's 10 degrees outside. Where's he coming from, Matt? Can we tell? I can't tell. How far does this thing go? Just give me a second. Here. Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a step outside with Bubba. Let's see what happens here. Will, we're going to warm you up a little bit. We're going to bring some it. sunshine. How about the blue skies, Bob? How about the view? There's the. By the way, we're wearing we're wearing tank tops. How about there's, there's the turbine Camaro sitting over there? It's over there. That's okay. going into progress. How about that, man? We got to work. We got things to do. How about that? Hey, Bill. I hope that brought some sunshine to you.